hey fam welcome back to my channel welcome to another video today i'm going to be doing a cash stuffing this is one of the bonus checks that i've been expecting for my former job and yeah i've been talking about this for some time now i finally got one of them so i'm going to be stuffing a total of one thousand dollars today and um if you are new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by on this channel i do cash envelope stuffing savings challenges budgeting and we are also on a debt-free journey. If you are interested in contents like this, then consider subscribing and join the family. I would love to have you here. To my returning subscribers, you are welcome back. Thank you so much for always coming back. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay my money out. This is the money that I got from the bank. I got $1,000. I finally made it to the bank. I'm gonna set up anyways. I'm gonna set um, all this place up and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I am done setting this money up. I want to make sure I'm in frame here. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be stuffing a total of one thousand dollars. I have my I have my categories out here, so I can so you can guide me while I go through the stuffing. And I'm gonna be stuffing like four of my binders today, guys. So the first one we're gonna be stuffing is my travel binder. If you are new here, if you don't know about this travel binder, I'm going to link this, the video in the description box and it's going to pop up right here, right now. Yeah, this is my travel binder for our next year, December, Nigerian travel. So if you want to know more about this binder, you need to go check that video out. And I'm, I'm not going to do a detailed stuffing today. I'm going to do a whole new video for stuffing um, this binder by itself. But out of this $1,000, I'm going to put $200 into this binder for right now. $200 goes here for now. And I believe I already have like $450 in here, guys. I am super excited for this money. So now I have one, two, three. I'm going to put this down for now. 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. Now I have $650 in my travel binder. I should be ready to stuff this binder by next week. My, my second bonus check is coming next week, so I'm going to be doing this again next week. So that is going to be it for the travel binder. Next, I'm going to move to my personal binder. This is my Philo Fax wallet. I got this from two months budget. I want it from one of our giveaways. So this is my personal binder. This is everything that belongs to me right here. So I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be stuffing a total of $100 into my binder. And I have the breakdown of it. So my allowance is going to get $20. I think I used it all up. I already spent it all. I don't have anything there. Self-care is empty because apparently I got my nails done. I'm going to put $20 into self-care. My closet, I haven't spent anything out of here. I still have my $25. I'm going to have $20 today. I haven't had the chance to go. I need to go get some clothes at Ross, but I haven't been able to, to, to go there. Shop local has $15. I believe I used some of it up. Today I'm going to be having $10 to support my fellow sisters here on YouTube. And then savings. Um, yeah, savings is going to get $20. I have $25 in here already, but I'm going to be having $20 today. So now I have $45 in my savings. When I get to a certain point in time, I'm going to move this into my bank and just leave it in my savings account. Then the last, the last one here is the more retaining. This is for my business. Uh, I've not started yet. I need to buy some items, some materials to get me started. So I'm trying to save up for that. And I'm going to be putting $10 into here today. So that is going to be everything I'm stuffing for my personal binder. 
Next up is going to be my sinking funds, guys. I condensed all of my sinking funds into one binder because I just don't want binders all over the place. So, and I'm not going to be stuffing every envelope in here. I'm only going to be stuffing about three of them. Yes, only well, four. I'm going to be stuffing four. So, um, the first one I'm stuffing today is back to school. My goal for back to school is $500. And I need to go back to school shopping in about, in about two weeks. So I have I have three hundred and twenty-five dollars already. Today I'm going to be putting seventy dollars into back to school. I'm trying to fully fund this envelope so I can go shopping for my kids' uh, school stuff. School is resuming here for them uh, August 9th, so I need to go shopping. So right now I have one. 20 for the 60 80 300 350 370 390 I have 395 in back to school so we're almost there I should be able to fully fund this envelope by the time I stuff my uh, my next what you call it my next bonus check next week I should be able to fund this so today I had it uh, $70. I have $395. I believe that's what I said. I'm not sure right now. But I think that was what I said. I'll fix it later. But I think I was right. So next up is home. Home is not getting anything right now. And the next envelope I'm going to be stuffing in this binder will be um, car. Okay, car is going to be getting two hundred dollars today because two of our cars' engine light came on. So my husband is going to be home pretty soon. He's going to be doing a lot of like a lot of work on the cars on our two cars, and his car needs a new battery. So I'm I need five hundred dollars in this envelope in a matter of two weeks. So today I'm going to be putting two hundred dollars into this envelope. So one of those go into car. So right now I I should have three eighty. One, two, three. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. So now we have three eighty. I should be able to fully fund this envelope as well by the time I stuff my next bonus check. So now we have three eighty. My goal in this envelope is five hundred dollars in the next two weeks, so we can do our servicing on the i'm sorry this is just on the cars oh. i need to cut this down a little bit now the next one i'm stuffing on this binder is pantry stock up i really i'm not really in the need of anything in my pantry right now i'm really i'm still good on fish and beef and chicken but i just want to stuff it just so i don't neglect it I don't have a lot in here. I only have 140, so I'm putting $20 today. I should have 160, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. So I have 160 in pantry stock. Oh. No, I forgot to update it last time. So I put $20, now I have 160. I think I messed up on the other ones that I did. I will fix those off camera. Sometimes when you're recording, you don't catch a lot of mistakes that you make. You catch them when you are editing so many times. So yeah. Now the next one that I'm stuffing in this binder, and this is probably the last one I'm stuffing in this binder, is going to be fun. Guys, our fun envelope is empty because we've been going to the movies a lot. Because the uh, we, I have $51 and I only have... So we spent $50 on Saturday. Yeah, we spent $50 on Saturday and because we went to see Space Jam. My kids love it so, so much. So I'm going to be having $20 today. Now we're going to have $21. I'm going to have more when I do my next stuffing because when my husband gets back, we're going to be going out a lot with the kids because it's been over 12 months it's been like 13 months since he left 
the house to go on deployment so when it comes back we're going to do a lot of going around to movies and places i think this is going to be it for my sinking front binder now the last binder that i'm going to be stuffing is going to be my savings challenges i'm going to be doing two of my savings challenges today i'm not doing all of them and i'm, I'm going to tell you the reason why in a little bit so i've been saying that i don't have any plan for my 12 month challenge yet but now i do have a plan my husband will be fixing some things in the house when he gets back so i want to fully i want to complete this challenge before he gets home so we can have this one thousand dollars to do the house repairs and everything so today i'm going to be stuffing all of this that is remaining on this in this challenge so um, let me do my calculation real quick 125 plus 100 plus 75 that's going to be 300 dollars i shouldn't need a calculator for that you know but i don't know so my 12 month challenge is going to be getting 300 dollars today majority of this money is in the bank that's why you see all this prop money here I don't want to keep them in the house, so I don't end up spending them. So three hundred dollars is going to go into this, um, this envelope. So this is one twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two, fifty, seventy, ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let me put this together real quick. I don't know why I have my money all over the place. So let's count it together again. Sorry for that interruption. My daughter just came asking me to help her do something. So now we have one. I'm going to leave this aside. I, I, I don't think I can ever count this without messing up. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. And she came back. I'm so sorry about that. So I'm going to count again. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 300 dollars. So my 12 month challenge is completed. Wow. This is amazing. I completed this challenge in seven months guys seven months is what took me to complete this challenge that's really really amazing Mommy. yes i'm recording Mommy, and she came back guys because, every time you're recording that's when they want to talk to you i, I don't know what to do with them i want to use a different color so yeah guys i started this challenge in january and was it even january i think so so i'm completing this jam this challenge in july today july 19. this is super amazing and i am putting this money to a very good use because it just came in handy we're going to be fixing the top the hallway bathroom and everything some going to be doing some um some um makeover some renovation in the house with this and i'm going to be vlogging those renovations on my cleaning channel if you would like to follow me on the journey over there i will be vlogging those renovations on my cleaning channel i will link the channel in the description box in case you don't know about it so i should have 1050 dollars in here at least 1050 dollars should be in here if that is not complete then i have a problem one two three four five six seven seven hundred dollars in the bank twenty forty oh oh no okay i'm so sorry about this i need to arrange this money yeah we cannot do this this needs to be in order okay so this is seven hundred 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 
20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, 50, 70, 90. I said 7, 8, 9, $1,000, guys. So 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, this is $1,050. Wow. This is super amazing. Whatever you put your mind to, you can always do. So I have my $1,050 here for my 12-month savings challenge. And I completed this challenge in seven months, guys. Seven months. If I can do it, then you can do it too. So I'm going to take in the rest of this money to the bank so I can transfer it into my husband so he can buy what he needs so uh, they can be delivered to the house before he gets home and we don't have to wait on delivery or anything. I'm super excited for this right here. I'm so happy that I started this challenge in January because just imagine I didn't do it. I, we're going to have to be looking for money elsewhere and you know, that's... That's the beauty in budgeting. <laughs> like my friend Desiree always say, this is the beauty in budgeting right here. So now the next challenge that I'm going to be doing today and the last one is going to be my penny challenge. And today I'm going to be stuffing $89.59. So I'm, I always round it up to the nearest dollar. So I'm going to be putting $90 in here today. So the money that I have left over to amount to $90 and guys I am going to be completing this challenge pretty soon as well I'm working on it so be on the lookout for that so $90 should be my leftover right here so we have 20 40 60 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh -uh, I'm missing $1 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I have $90 in here, which is going to go in my penny challenge. And I'm almost done with this challenge too. I really want to finish this one as well so I can fully fund my Christmas. So yeah, this challenge is going to go towards my Christmas savings. That's why I wasn't rushing to, to stop my Christmas fund. So when I complete this, I'm going to put in this towards my Christmas savings. So um, I don't even know how much I have here because I've not been following them accordingly. So I really don't know how much I have in here yet. And some of this money are in the bank too. So my goal in this challenge is $667, but I know it's going to be more than that because I always round these numbers up. This is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching me stuff my envelopes today. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. I would love to have you here. And uh, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.